Hey guys, and welcome into another Buffy reaction. Today we are on to episodes 13 and 14 of season three. They are called The Zeppo, no idea what that is, maybe a monster of the week, and Bad Girls, which, <laughs> why is it giving faith? She hasn't been in the show as much recently, and we need some more faith. We just ended in kind of a crazy spot in the season. Uh, Giles was just fired from being Buffy's watcher. It feels like a fever dream. It doesn't feel real. I don't know how they're going to go about this plot line, if it's going to be super long or short. I have no idea, but I'm stressed and I'm curious about who the new watcher that is being sent to us may be like. So with that being said, if you would like to watch along with the full episodes, my uncut reactions are available below on my Patreon. I have my Twitch, Instagram, and Letterboxd. What else do I have linked below? I think that's it. But if you would rather just watch the edited version here on YouTube, then let's get into it. Previously on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Previously? You know we're about to get serious when we get a previously on. You're fired. Oh, that was it. <laughs> they just wanted to remind us that Giles is fired. I remembered. Guys, I remember. Faith? Why is that? Okay, it's just, what is that? We like never get introduced to random creatures like this at the beginning of episodes. Love the teamwork. Love Buffy's hair. Well, if it wasn't for that clouding spell. Yeah, it went good. Nothing melted like last time. I love that Willow's in on the action as a witch now. That's really cool. She's leveling up. I'm sorry, I should have had you better prepared and I should never have allowed Willow and, uh, and, and? uh... Oh. Xander. I'm good. Oh, Xander. Stay home next time, buddy. Maybe you shouldn't be leaping into the fray like that. Maybe you should be fray adjacent. Excuse me? I think in the future perhaps it would be best if you, you uh, hung back to the rear of the battle for, for your own sake. You know, I have this weird, uncomfortable feeling, and I hope I'm wrong, and I could very well be because it would be crazy if they did this, that Xander may go to the dark side at some point. He's either going to go to the dark side or he's really going to grow as a character. He just has an ego on him. He feels like this n in intense need to help and matter, which is understandable. And now that, you know, Buffy, Faith, and Willow all have this purpose when it comes to fighting evil, and he might start to feel like he doesn't have that same instinct or natural talent or whatever it is that they have. And I'm afraid like it might go to his head and he might eventually dabble in like being the evil if he can't be successful at fighting alongside the good. I don't know. I could just see that for his character. I hope I'm wrong. Let's man him open. Let's see, this is what I'm talking about. He just doesn't feel like he fits in. This is embarrassing. Oh my god. Xander. Oh, Xander. Wow, to cut your face open. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. It was an accident. The guy has a creepy you necklace on. Something. What? I get my buddies together. We're gonna kick your ass till it's a brand new shape. What in the world is your problem? Uh-uh. What in the world? But he's wearing anytime someone's wearing a creepy necklace, they're in something. I could have taken him. Oh please. O'Toole would macrame your face. He is a psycho. Really hard when all your friends have like superpowers. Slayer, werewolf, witches, vampires, and you're like this little nothing. Why did I feel this energy from the very beginning of this episode? They set that up so well in that opening scene. And now she's really digging into him. Please don't. He's going to do something stupid. You're the, the useless part of the group. You're okay. the Zeppo. Is that a real cool. word? Look it up. I will, Cordelia. This isn't a real word. Oh, it is slang in the Urban Dictionary. Okay. I mean, you yourself, Oz, are considered more or less cool. Why is that? Because he's a kind person and he doesn't care about looking cool. But you need a thing. One thing nobody else has. This is actually so sad. Let me think. What does Xander have? I'm not even doing this right now to be funny. I'm trying to think, like, how... What, how can... <sighs> Okay, I really I really paused so I could stop and think about a good answer to like build Xander's confidence and I can't think of what he could do. This got awkward. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, you got some identity issues. It's not the end of the world. Can they do that? They seem fairly committed. They exist solely to bring about the world's destruction. And we've not seen the last of them. More will follow. 
Hey. Um, you're, you're, you're cutting it a bit close. Well, you know me. Oh my god. The way I almost forgot he's a werewolf. They intend to open the Hellmouth. The Hellmouth. <laughs> we haven't talked about that in a second. About 20 feet from where you're standing. Uh, it's right there? You girls need a lift? What have you done? What is this? Great car. Anyway, Not your vibe. My thing. Is this a penis metaphor? <laughs> It's my thing that makes me cool. Not him having a semi-quarter life crisis. Well, it's nice. It is. Could you sound a little less enthused? Sorry. Evil. Big? Biggest. You know I'm here for you. Just tell me what I can do. Two glazed, two cinnamon, a couple cream filled and a jelly. <laughs> not no, no, let's not the donut food. run. Ooh, is some evil going on? No, not the donut run. Do you know what? I could see Xander like being the, eventually being the, um, the bronze of the group, you know? I feel like if he committed himself to combat, learning combat and stuff, I feel like he could do that. Because we have Giles, who's the brains. Willow's also the brains, but also a witch on top of that. Buffy is the slayer. Cordelia is like the charisma and the street smarts persuasion girl. Oz is a werewolf and he's kind of like often the getaway driver with his little van. Xander, there's an open spot for... Uh, Muscles. Buffy has the muscles, but you know, backup is always good. And I just remember that he couldn't open a jar of peanut butter in the last episode. Um, you know, it's okay. It's something he can work on. Like anybody even cares about. Is that your car? Oh God, no, she's evil. Why, uh... I don't trust her. <laughs> 283 CID, solid lifter. He probably doesn't know all Fuel that. Injected V8. No, I don't trust it. Maybe the 90s were different. But what kind of girl just like walks up to a random man on the street and goes, can I have a ride? Unless they're... So then I started seeing his friend Mike. Not the Mike with the Mercedes, the Mike with the Mustang. Oh, she has an obsession with cars. That's what it is. Her whole personality is cars and guys with cars. I don't think they know what they're dealing with. Let's go there. Tell them that. <laughs> no, it's best you stay at a harm's way. <laughs> but I can help. Poor Xander. I do feel for him this episode. Cordelia is being especially cruel. Act like I'm like I'm some sort of clutch. <laughs> You're oh, joking, Xander. <gasps> Not him. Oh, you're dead. We don't turn up something soon. I'm gonna hit the streets. Maybe check out Willie's. Uh, I hate it there, but we probably should. All we know is that the fate of the entire world rests on it. Did you eat all the jellies? <laughs> I always have a jelly. I'm always the one that says, let's have a jelly in the mix. We're oh, sorry. Buffy had three. <laughs> Willow! <laughs> Unnecessary. Your car came out of nowhere. <laughs> I was parked. Exactly. It's so embarrassing. The important thing is, is that we're all right and we can work this out like two reasonable frontiersmen. Where do you want it? What? Cool knife. Girl. No, it's not the time. Yeah. Great knife. How very serial killer of you. That's what I think we should be going. Uh. Don't you feel pathetic? Oh, no. Okay. Mostly I feel Katie. <laughs> hey! Just wrestling. I can't believe this guy's Ooh. being- I think he's being for real. I thought he was just like big bad personality, but he seems genuinely exactly. terrifying. Just blowing off steam. Two guys wrestling, but not in a gay way. Do it somewhere else. I like you. Oh. Uh. Yay? Uh, you two want to have some fun? We'll take your wheels. Oh. What about your car? Ain't mine. Sir. Gonna get the boys! The boys! We love the boys. I'm sure they won't be terrifying at all. The blood of the earth shall restore him. The fuck? Um. Buddy. Bob. Bob? <laughs> I'll call ya! <laughs> Big Bob is back in action! Yes! Oh, okay. Maybe I should just let you guys catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob, this is Xander. Oh, good. okay. What? 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 Dude, where are the other guys? 
We gotta go get him. Where's the boys? We're gonna get the guys together. We're gonna party, man. It's gonna be a night to remember. Yeah! Why are all his friends dead? Also, it should not be this easy to to raise people from the dead. What do you dude? <laughs> the vibes are kind of everything though. Just a whole bunch of bros rising from the dead. Listen, do you guys need any help? <laughs> oh, probably uh best if you, you stay out of trouble. Yeah. Chance of I better go. Um, hopefully we should have time to prepare. All we need is a few weeks. <laughs> Tonight? Before sunrise. Hey, bud. Said they were coming after you, too. Nothing could stand in their way because tonight was the night. I never seen anything like these demons. I'm gonna stop them. That hell mouth opens. They're gonna be the least of your problems, is my train of thought. I wanna bake a cake. <laughs> yes. We need some beers, though. Did you just say he wants to bake a cake? If you guys want me to drop you off somewhere, <laughs> that's... Nah, you with us now. Oh, yeah, man. You want to be now, man. No, we don't want to be with you, because then we're gonna be dead. What are we gonna do? Kick some ass and bake some cakes. Pretty sure nothing's open. Oh, oh, okay. Having a car sure is cool. Thank you. Aren't you glad you. you got that car? Well, no. I, I needed supplies for a protection spell. Buffy called. And that thing that's happening would be. I, I can't stay. Buffy will need this. Xander doesn't feel like he's part of the group. Just no, take the I'm car. Kind of busy. He doesn't feel like part of the group because he hasn't been initiated. Oh dear God. Ready. What do I got to do? You gotta die. So why don't you have to die? I was like, there's a reason why all his friends are dead. Why aren't you? You too good to be dead? Too scared. What about Jack? Jack's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Drive by three weeks ago. Oh boy. He's dead? Oh. Pappy found my oh. body. But you forgot about one thing. <laughs> Get off! Okay, why would you run there of all places? Okay, okay. Okay. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Get it, Xander. Yes, Xander. Oh, you did something right. Oh, that was impressive. Took all stuff, man. I want to bake a cake. It's all right. The whole like little plot line of this man just wanting to bake a cake is so funny. <laughs> Xander. Oh, Xander. Oh my god, I thought he was about to hit Faith and I got real scared. Yes. Oh, yes, you're doing things. Oh, Xander, I'm so proud of you. The bitch just located my shoulder, though. No. <sighs> Hold me. No, I am kind of root I'm rooting for them to be together. I kind of low-key ship them. Low-key? Low-key? She got me really wound up. What? A fight like that and no kill. What? I'm about ready to pop. What? what? Really? I No. I don't ship them like this. What is this? This is huh? not- This is- No. You this- what? Uh, no, not oh, I'm up. wait. <laughs> I'm suddenly very up. I've never been up with people before. Just relax. Take your pants off. Well, those two. I'm. What's happening? What's happening? I feel like she's definitely made a comment before. Like it's not totally, I guess, out of character for her to be like in the mood after a good fight because I think she's made that comment before in like the first episode we met her with that she gets worked up but like she's also like not just one track mind girly and she, this is Xander like you're it's not a random man either like this is your friend I, I this feels wrong okay stay around the curves did I mention that I'm having a very strange night <laughs> Strange is the word, Xander. What? That was great. I got a shower. That checks out. Oh, I don't think Xander- I think Xander's too sensitive for that. Is he okay? I've never seen him like this. Hell, oh, well, the consensus can open. Okay. Now what's case. happening with Oz? This episode is so chaotic. What's the plot? Oz. Ah! <sighs> We're gonna move him before he wakes up. He made an offhand comment, I don't know if it was just a joke, and I'm reading into it, but he was like, I've never been up with other people before. And I assumed like him and Cordelia did things together, but did they not? Did they just like keep it PG-13? I don't know, I'm worried. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Hey, they're not baking any cake. 
Oh, I was really hoping that they really just rose from the dead to bake some good cake. Probably loaded with supplies. Gotta think. I can't believe I had sex. <laughs> okay, bombs. Already dead guys with bombs. That's so bombs. funny. <laughs> because it's so realistic. Like, that is what you would, your brain would be stuck there even in a situation like this if that just happened. And also I love that, I love that this is turning into Xander, like, solving his own mystery this whole or this whole episode i was like xander just get ask for help xander just tell someone what's going on but i like where they're going with it where in the end it's a one-man show for him i think that's nice buffy this is worse than anything we've ever faced hey, okay it's the only way they keep saying this you know one thing that's you. a little off about this episode to me is that they really are hyping up the the intensity of what's happening here. Obviously, the Hellmouth possibly opening is an intense thing, but there's been no build-up to it whatsoever. Angel, I think, is trying to sacrifice himself in some sort of way in order to make them be able to get this situation under control. And I'm just sitting here like, Xander just had sex. No, I'm just sitting here like, feeling like feeling like I'm running to catch up with everything that's happening. Like I don't feel the depth of this right now because I'm just like so frazzled by the episode's format. I love you. Oh, oh no, that's sad. I love you. If you won't do it my way, then you're. <clears throat> hey, I've got this. Um... <laughs> Why did it feel like he just like interrupted the scene, not the conversation? I like how that was done. That was funny. This is probably a bad time. Too late. Go on. Xander. Can I help? Oh. <laughs> the music kicks back in. <laughs> the music and the tears kick back in. That was so funny. Okay, I can work this out. I just gotta figure out what they'd be like to the bomb. <laughs> Who knows what's gonna come up from beneath us? There was that a literal transition? Are they in the basement of the school? This is gonna be large. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a hell of a cake. Oh god. Just okay, just reverse. Hey, 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 <laughs> oh, it's the plan. It's in the boiler room. Alright. How do I defeat <laughs> Why is this episode so funny? <laughs> I love this episode. Oh. Oh, casual. Oh, we just really cut to this? So casual. It's so weird how this is set up because this feels like our main gang, like, and Buffy, you know, with the main gang, we usually are following them. And I feel like I'm missing out on so much of the the normal structure of the episode when it comes to leading up to seeing that type of monster. But, like, we've been with Xander the whole time, so, like, they've kind of been doing their little side plot. And, like, it's it feels like there's a whole Buffy episode happening, but we're, like, on the sidelines, which is kind of probably how Xander always feels. I love this episode. I think it's a really smart episode, the way that they structured it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've seen that thing before. I forget. We've seen something like it. Oh, good. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! You're so I'm so impressed! Another one bites the dust. Should have learned by now. If you're gonna play with fire, you gotta expect sooner or later. Okay. I wasn't finished. <laughs> yeah, he wanted his Buffy so moment. Oh my. <laughs> the way he is running with that axe. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are there so many? Oh my god, ew. Oh cool, okay. Well, that works. That's one way. Okay. Boiler room. Oh my god. Run away. <laughs> like, let me just run away from the the main uh, antagonist of this episode. I have my own thing going. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Oh, the knife is cheating. Stairs out of the building. Seconds ticking away. I don't love your chances. 
Then you'll die too. Yeah, looks like. So I guess the question really is, who has less fear? Are you? I like the quiet. That's really sad. We're dead. Oh, he's gonna turn it off. <laughs> he cut that close. Woo Good boy. <gasps> I don't think I want to be seeing you on campus anymore, Jack. Xander! I never thought I'd say it. Xander's a badass. Xander underestimated. Xander, I love you. First time you turn your back. Oh my god. <laughs> Buffy's arm. But Angel's gonna be okay. He was only out for a few minutes. I'll never forget that thing's face. It's real face, I mean. I don't know how you managed. Oh my god. The bravest thing I've ever I seen. cannot believe that they're all looking like this right now. They like they've been through it. This looks like they just had the biggest fight of their life. And we didn't get to see it. <laughs> That's crazy. No one will ever know how close it came to stopping. Never know what we did. Apparently. Guys, Xander, boy, you're lucky you weren't at school last night. <laughs> Just crazed. Give me the quiet life. I'm gonna grab a snack. Anyone want? Wow. Awesome. On another life or death donut mission, or are we just cruising for bimbos again? Giving them lessons in lack of cool. What? What? Oh, I love that. It would have like ruined everything if Xander, at the end of that type of episode, was like, guys, guys, you'll never believe. You have to believe me. This is what happened last night. I love that he's keeping quiet about his heroic adventures. I love that he's keeping quiet about having slept with Faith. I love this so much. And if they, if this is a an official turned page on Xander's character and he keeps up with this new sense of quiet confidence, I think it's going to do wonders for like bringing him back up in my rankings. This was really cool. This... I really, really loved this episode a lot. And if you would have told me before going into this episode that it was like, oh, it's a Xander-centric episode, I would have been like, oh. But like, it really has maybe turned out to be one of my favorites of this season slash series so far. It was so good. It was so funny. I'm very curious to see where Xander's character goes from here. I'm curious to see if him and Faith ever talk about what happened or if, you know, they're cool with just moving on and letting it be what it was. I feel like this was a really straightforward episode. I don't feel like I have much to say. You know, we didn't meet the new Watcher yet. They have not arrived, but of course we still have Giles here helping us as we knew he would be. I do hope that the next episode we is when we meet the new Watcher because I, I really am on the edge of my seat for that. But yeah, wow, what a great little episode. Xander. Xander, everybody. <laughs> oh my God. We're we're back. Faith and Buffy teamwork. All this time and not even once. I have never done it with Xander. Oh, just a friend. Mhm. Why are you asking, Faith? Nicely diverted, V. Diverted. That was me fighting for my life. Look, why don't we grab the weapons? Maybe Giles. Check these out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just love the family circus. Trick in the PJ. mayor. He's getting to be quite a handful. Well, this poor guy. Well, let's just keep an eye out. We've got the dedication coming up in a few days. We certainly can't have anything interfering with that. The dedication? Well, maybe we should postpone. The dedication is the final step before my ascension. Ascension to what? I've waited longer than you can imagine for this. Mr. Trick, watch these people. Anything you find out about them, let's just see that that information reaches the Slayers. Who knows? With any luck, they'll kill each other. Then everyone's a winner. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that there was something with the mayor as far as like him being involved in the supernatural world outside of just knowing about it. Like I knew 
that he was a part of it. I still don't completely understand what he is or what he wants to be. If he was born this way, if he created himself to be the man he is today, what he's trying to reach with this ascension, I don't know. But I'm not surprised that he's involved in that way. I still just don't understand his motive. However, it does make sense that he wouldn't really care about the destruction of Sunnydale if he plans to reach this ascension where it doesn't seem like the destruction would affect him personally. He might just be straight up evil. And it might be as plain as that. With a long, long-term plan that he's finally getting to the end of. I'm so overwhelmed. I, I, I got in to actual colleges and, and, and they're wooing me. No rejection, I can handle because of the years of training, but this... <laughs> Planning life as a loser? Most people just turn out that way, but you're really taking charge. The comedy stylings of Miss Cordelia Chase, everyone. Uh, incidentally, won't be needing a higher education when she markets her own very successful line of hooker wear. I could dress more like you, but... Oh, my father has a job. Some of her comments are just too mean. They're just too mean, especially for someone who's once loved him, you know? I have to go see Giles, report on last night's patrol. Oh, yeah, he said he wanted to talk to you. Training procedures have been updated quite a bit since your day. <gasps> the new watcher. Much greater emphasis on field work. Why is he I mansplaining to our man Giles? Work. New watcher? New watcher. Wesley Wyndham Price. Wesley? It's very nice to meet you. Hmm. We don't know if it's nice to meet you is yet. Is he evil? <laughs> evil? Not in the strictest sense. Well, I'm glad that's cleared up. One of them had swords. I, I don't think he was with the other two. One long, one short? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both pointy, with like jewels and things. Oh, Illuminati. Illuminati? 15th century duelist cult, deadly in their day. They eventually became the acolytes of a demon called Balthazar, who brought them to the new world specifically. Balthazar, any charmed fans? Balthazar had an amulet. When he was killed, it was taken by a wealthy landowner named. I don't want to bore you with details. Thank you. Buffy, you will go to the Gleaves family crypt tonight and fetch the amulet. I will. Oh. I don't like how You're he gave that order. Orders. Whenever Giles sends me on a mission, he always says, please. Yeah. And afterwards, I get a cookie. New watcher? Mm. New, New watcher. watcher. Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, creepy. Don't get used to me. Uh, oh. oh, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> Why should we let him take all the fun out of it? Taking the fun out of slaying, stabbing, beheading. Oh, like, you don't dig it. I don't. Tell me steak in advance doesn't get you a little bit juiced. Come on, say it. Maybe. <laughs> you can't fool me. Yeah, I think Buffy does... Mm, she definitely doesn't enjoy it as much as Faith, but I think she does, like, in the easier kills, like the little fun little vampire cemetery intro scene kills, I think she's having a, a, a decent time. Love a good crypt. Game over. Oh. Ew. Ew. Okay. Oh my god, that's so annoying. We were so close. You know what? If they just want it for sentimental value, why don't we just let them keep it? Yeah, well, six against two now, so come on. Huh? I don't know how many's down there, but I want to find out. And I'll know when I land. If you don't come in after me, I might die. Oh, oh my god, Faith. Nice. <laughs> oh! Then let's just settle it. Oh my god, not the water. That's traumatizing. Oh good. <laughs> they got me for a second, I'm not gonna lie. They hate it when they drowned me, she said. She's just like incapable of drowning. Her body is just it doesn't work that way. Tell me you don't get off on this. Didn't suck. <laughs> Of course, there are tests to be made before actual verification. Okay. How about verifying that your nearly extinct cult was out in Magnum Force last night? The only thing you need to discuss with Mr. Giles is overdue book fees. Understood? Nope. Let go and became this force. I just didn't care anymore. Ooh. Yeah, I know what that's like. I don't think you can. No, but that's slayer. scary. There's something scary about enjoying it too much because if you're enjoying that slaying, to that extent, you can get careless. And I feel like there's a good, if you have a good sense of like fear and worry, it makes you more careful. And I, ew, I think Wesley said something about how it's so important to be cautious, but he's right. Like caution 
is going to help you out to an extent. You can't be too cautious, but you can't have too much fun either. I don't know how Faith has managed, actually, with how much fun she has. Buffy, test. Right. Okay, so we're down there in the sewers. And okay, this is weird. Hey. Is something wrong with her? Can we resume Buffy's ode to Faith later, like when I'm not actively multiple choicing? How come your eye twitches every time I say Faith's name? What? No reason. Girl. Hey, girlfriend. I'm starting to understand why this episode might be called Bad Girls. What happened to them? Why are they acting like this? What I'm trying to think. Like, what did I miss that has made them act like this? Like, even Faith. Girl, I know Faith. She has her fun. But what is she doing? Opening up a chemistry class window and drawing breath art on it. How did the teacher miss that? <laughs> That's fun. Wait, they should actually do this more often, for real. Catch them when... What is going on? No, but they should do that for more often for vampires. Just like catch them in the daylight. Find those like little dens. I know there's something problematic happening, but I love the vibes. Balazar. Dead demon. Not as dead as you think. Oh good, of course. No problem, we got the amulet. I know, I spoke to Giles, but he said you gave it to ah, someone. What if, what if, what if the mayor is Balthazar? I'm gonna feel real dumb if that's not correct. But wouldn't that be crazy? The mayor is looking to ascend. What if he needs the amulet to ascend? That would make sense. I'm not being crazy, right? Where's the amulet? It's somewhere safe. <laughs> How did you know? Poochie's your jacket. I'll just somebody come on Balthazar. If I may, Balthazar is dead. Uh, Am I the only one that remembers that? Except because. he's not. Why are they just kissing like that? Like, what happened? I feel like they were, like, play fighting, and then they were like, whoa, whoa, that's not what this is. We can't do nothing. And then all of a sudden, they're acting all coupley again, but, like, it can't go anywhere because they can't... I guess if they want to abstain for the rest of their lives, they can ride off into the sunset like in that way. I see fear and remorse. But what I don't see is what I want to see. Okay, so I'm and guessing this is Balthazar. And I guess I take back what I said about the mayor. <laughs> The music change. Oh, score. Oh! I think the Slayer's very simple. Want. Take. Have. We're gonna be hitting some consequences by the end of this episode, for sure. I'm getting it. That's what you chose? I mean, cool. That's cool, but... Okay. Drop the weapons oh. and get down on the ground. They're gonna now. face consequences by the end of the scene. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Do you want to get out of here? Yeah, this is boring. <laughs> I just need an explanation at this point. This is just getting crazy. Come on! Let's see what's happening in Sunnydale. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Do not let children around this man. So, any news about the Illuminati? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Trick. That was very thoughtful. <laughs> he had courage. I want to poke him. Bring the watchers to me! Find the slayers and kill them! Kill everything that gets in your way! Go! <laughs> I just can't take him seriously. These tantrums are just funny. Because he's just stuck sitting there, acting like a little toddler, upset about everything. Give me time, and I may be the first Wicca to do all my conjuring in pine fresh scent. Dude. So what's the plan? For tonight's slate, we're going, aren't we? You shouldn't come tonight. Is that cool? Well, sure. It's kind of sad. Sense. She you likes know, doing it. You'll be facing big hairy danger. It's, it's too dangerous. Time to motor. Hey, Willow? 
You you go ahead. I, I'll just get my stuff. No. Now Willow feels like she's being replaced. And she made it the minty fresh protections, but it's not stupid. I love your minty fresh protection, Willow. I didn't say you had emotional problems. I said you had an emotional problem. It's simply time for somebody else to take the field. Now's a good time to start. Ha ha ha. Um. Oh. Um. Oh my god. Oh no. my god. This is what I mean about needing to be cautious. Not only is it a danger to yourself, but it's like a danger to other people. Oh, he's dying. He's di He's dead. Angel. Buffy, I've been looking for you. He always is. I got Giles. Let's go. You know what I want. If it's for me to scrub those hard to reach areas, I'd like to request you kill me now. Ew. Yes, I'd rather die. You have something we want. What? A trade. Wait, boring. Pull off his kneecaps! <laughs> no, 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 no. The Slayer g gave it to someone. A, a tall man, a friend, a friend of hers. I can tell you everything. You're what? bartering with a demon? The man who has my amulet! What is his name? His name is Angel. That was kind of hot. I'm not really into Angel like that anymore. I haven't been in a while, but that moment, it was the walk too. Not the arms. Not the little arms. Whoa. <laughs> I hope that Wesley put some respect on Giles' name after this. Nope. 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 Perfect. Done and done. How are you feeling, Wesley? Oh. Slayer, you think you've won. <laughs> when he rises, you wish I killed you all. Is he talking about the mayor? Because I am not forgetting what the mayor was saying at the beginning of this episode about his ascension. Estatem matris nostre in tenibris in voco. Maledictum filium tuum ab omni periculo I don't understand why Alan would miss this. He's usually so punctual. Alan's dead, buddy. What can the mayor do now? He's immortal. Well. <gasps> because hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> Call the temp agency, become invincible, meeting with PTA, haircut. <laughs> Oh my god, that's, that's, a uh, okay. You didn't check off anything else, though. I guess Become Invincible is probably top priority on that list. Nothing can harm me until the Ascension. That wasn't the Ascension? Oh, of course it wasn't. That was the... Root beer. beer? That was the dedication, no? What is the Ascension? That sounds like season three finale type stuff. So they weren't even under any type of demonic influence. Hey, sooner or later, we're both gonna have to deal. Wrong. We can help each other. I don't need it. Faith, you can shut off all the emotions that you want, but eventually they're gonna find a body. There is no body. I took it, weighted it, and dumped it. Body doesn't exist. You killed a man. She gets it. No, you don't get it. I don't care. She does care. Okay. I don't buy that. Oh my god. We're gonna end it like that? She cares. We saw her go back, well, we saw her go back to the body, and I guess now she's saying she, like, took the evidence and got rid of it, and maybe that's what was happening there, but there was just some sort of fear and regret in her and grief in her for over what she did when we saw her go back to the body. And I know that she's good at putting on a face, and I think that's what she's doing here, but she's doing, she's overkill. But that's overkill, saying, I don't care. Like, why do you want people to think that you're that type of person when I know you're not Faith? Wow, this felt like a big episode. The mayor is definitely who Balthazar was talking about. We have 100 days until his ascension. 
I'm guessing that that Ascension is what is going to be the season three finale. I do like that we had some little talk here and there about hinting at what happened with Xander and Faith in the last episode, you know, um, him twitching every time that she was mentioned. I'm happy that that's not just being like left in the dust. I feel really bad for Willow this episode doing her little witchy witchiness and Buffy just casting her aside. I was... I'm shocked that Buffy acted the way that she did in this episode without being under some type of magical influence. Like, I thought for real they'd been drugged in some way and that was what was making them act this way because I know Faith is, like I said, Faith has always been like this carefree, free spirits and everything, but she was on something this episode and Buffy being influenced like that just didn't feel natural. And our new watcher, whew, my god, so much in this episode, our new watcher. I don't know how I feel about him yet. I mean, I know how I feel about him right now. I just, I'm not, I can't tell yet if he will grow and become a bestie in terms of the Scooby gang. I'm hoping that tonight with everything that went down and him seeing how Giles was able to handle it, I do hope that he'll respect how things are handled around here a bit more and stop trying to be such an insufferable know-it-all. That is that. Let me look at the next two episodes. Consequences and Doppelgangland. Okay, consequences definitely feels like... I literally said that in this episode. I was like, they're going to have some consequences for everything that they're doing. And that's what it feels like this next episode is probably going to be dedicated to. I wonder and hope that... The fact that Faith killed a man is actually insane. Like, she killed a man. Maybe this next episode, Consequences, is going to delve more into the consequences of that. And then Doppelgangland. I know a doppelganger is like a double. I think they're demons, technically. I don't know. I think it might be different in every universe. I've only dealt with doppelgangers in Vampire Diaries. Uh, all I remember is that they're a double of you. And are they immortal? I'm not sure. I don't think they have to be. That could be a fun episode. That could be a scary episode. That could be a confusing episode. <laughs> I'll be excited to get into it. I also just realized at the beginning of this video filming that we're like more than halfway into the season. We're more than halfway into season three. We're cruising, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.